Welcome back, this is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're going to talk about the anti-aging effects of glutathione, in particular Glynac, or glycine plus NAC. So let's get right into it. Glycine plus NAC is called Glynac. In August of 2022, they did a study on Glynac. They took 24 older patients, whittled it down from about 241 subjects, with inclusion and exclusion factors, and 24 older patients, meaning 61 to 80 years old. The trial went for 16 weeks, and they also had a kind of a control uh, study with 12 young adults that went for two weeks. In this group, they did not see much change in the glutathione levels because young individuals tend to have higher glutathione levels in their system. But as we age, glutathione will start to drop, and Glynac had a significant impact on these older patients. So what they did was they took 12 of these patients and they gave them Glynac, and 12 they gave them alanine, okay? They, the amount they gave was 100 milligrams per kilogram of weight for glycine and 100 milligrams per kilogram uh, of weight of NAC. The reason they use glycine and NAC is because Glycine and cysteine, the C, are precursors to glutathione, okay? So they give basically 200 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. In the control subject, they also gave 200 milligrams per kilogram. So if you look at it and you calculate it, 66 kilogram uh, person is about 145 pounds. Multiply that by 200 milligrams you're getting 13,200 milligrams of glycine and, and NAC, okay? Or 13.2 grams, um, which is quite a lot uh, of supplementation, okay? So what kind of effects did it have? Glycine and NAC, or Glynac, combined together had profound effects. So what they did was they did muscle strength training, the ability to walk a little bit faster, uh, hip to weight ratio. They did a bunch of different uh, testing along with blood work and, and other markers to determine this. And uh, I'll link the study below so you can read the study and look at all the different variables and different markers they did. However, in a nutshell, it helped improve muscle strength, their speed in walking, uh, hip to waist ratio or weight uh, body fat, and blood pressure, right? And in, within that, you have improved oxidative stress, improved glutathione, uh, improved mitochondrial function and energy, and mitophagy, meaning cleaning up of dead debris or cleaning up of dead mitochondria, improving efficiency, reduced inflammation. It had nutrient sensing, um, a better nutrient sensing and insulin resistance improvement, endothelial cells, which would impact the blood pressure, genomic health, stem cells, as well as cellular senescence. Basically, it reduced all the different factors that happened with aging and improved function, such as strength, blood pressure, um, gait speed, and, and blood pressure, right? And um, if you look at this as a whole, it has a great anti-aging effect, okay? So the dosages that they used were quite high, and I'm not sure how they uh, came up with using 100 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. However, uh, that's a lot of supplementation. What I recommend is about 18 to 2,000 milligrams per day in divided doses, maybe 30 minutes before a meal or two hours after a meal, basically on an empty stomach, and that would have a profound effect. Basically, if you take this supplement, you will utilize it and, and improve glutathione uh, levels as needed, okay? It's not gonna all convert to glutathione, it's gonna convert to what you need. Now, there is some controversy of using, let's say, direct antioxidants like liposomal glutathione or an acetylated glutathione, where you're just increasing glutathione levels. Um, the idea is to balance things out. You need oxidants that signal and have different pathways 
as well as antioxidants like glutathione. So you need a balance of that. So using Glynac can help balance that out because you're using what you need to convert to glutathione rather than just having direct glutathione. So it's a different concept. However, in my office, we have a lot of patients who are sick. They're under severe oxidative stress. Uh, so we do use liposomal glutathione along with NAC. Um, but the use of Glynac or glycine plus NAC is pretty novel uh, in terms of studies. There are not a lot of companies who actually make them right now, um, but I'm pretty sure they're all going to get on the bandwagon and start making this combination of glycine and NAC uh, to have that effect of this anti-aging effect. Obviously, there need to be bigger studies done other than 24 subjects. They had a lot of inclusion and exclusion factors. So it might not apply to the whole population, um, but it looks very promising, okay? My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.